What's up, Facebook? So I've been thinking. Every so often I do that. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, for 2015, how about we clean out our closet? How about we get rid of the skeletons? How about we don't live a double life? How about we walk in integrity? As difficult and as crazy as that may sound, what if we live that way? Right? I think sometimes we are not 100% authentic because we, A, are struggling for significance, struggling to find approval. I always say, if you live for acceptance, you'll die from their rejection, right? You live for people's acceptance, you'll die from their rejection. Um, but we, we put on airs for other people's approval, right? Um, we're scared to be 100% ourselves because we're scared that we'll end up alone. We're scared we'll end up rejected. We're fearful. But I would like to submit that we begin to establish some circles of trust. Um, I think a lot of times we don't have people in our lives who can really challenge us to be the people that we were created to be because we're scared to hear the truth right, about ourselves. Um, we're scared of the rejection or the pain or what it may take uh, to hear some of the real things about ourselves. And sometimes, you know, you, everyone doesn't need to know all your business, right? Um, what, what I tend to do is, and this is what I do, um, is I kind of have three circles of trust, right? So I have this wide circle of, you know, all kinds of people, um, just friends, acquaintances, people I meet. Um, and, and it's cool. And, and I walk in integrity. I'm not trying to pretend I'm somebody else. Um, but, you know, these people are not going to hear about my, my woes or my anxieties or my inner struggles or anything uh, along those lines. It's, it's probably casual at surface level to a degree. Um, and I'm only sharing what I'm comfortable sharing, you know, that I would not be uh, uncomfortable with that information being misused or used against me in any kind of way. And then there's another circle inside of that one that's a little smaller. And these people, um, these are good friends, right? These are people that I know, that I love, that I trust. And I'm okay with being transparent with them. I'm okay with exposing myself to them to a degree. Um, I'm not trying to intentionally hide anything from them. But at the same time, um, there's some, some, some deeper stuff inside here that they don't get, right? There's some... some some wrestles that I may have, some of that dark stuff that, uh, you know, you don't want anybody to know about, right? Uh, some of that ugly stuff that even you're like, Ooh, man, what is wrong with me? Am I, am I crazy? Right. That kind of stuff. Right. Um, and they don't get that. They don't get, um, you know, some of my deepest pains and woes and struggles, but there's an even smaller circle of friends that I have. And in that circle, it's gloves off. Nothing is hidden. They know when I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm glad, when I'm angry, um, when I am uh, depressed or lonely. They get all the details and there's nothing they don't know about me. Um, and I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid that they'll misuse that information. I'm not afraid of their challenges because I know they're not there just to try to fix me. They're there to face me. Um, yeah, we're going to deal with these issues, but they're going to walk with me through it. Right. So they're the ones that are going to, you know, if uh, and this is just an example. All right. Don't take me seriously right now. But, you know, if I if I kill somebody, they're the ones who are going to walk with me through that. You know, they're going to still call the police and I'm going to get turned in, but they're going to make sure they visit me regularly, write me letters and 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 and, and roll with me. Right. I know some of y'all like, what in the world? I don't feel that example, but. Listen, I'm just trying to make a point. All right. Stay with me. Uh, my point is, is that, you know, these are people that I trust and I don't mind sharing my my deepest, darkest stuff with them because they're making me fight to be who I was created to be. Um, I'm not trying to pretend I'm somebody I'm not. I don't have to pretend um, they're challenging me to be the man that I have was created to be. And I think we need those circles. Um, and, and I also think that you got to, at the end of the day, just sit back and say, man, what are my motives? And am I caught up in a performance trap? Right. What am I doing all the things that I'm doing for? Why am I doing them? Um, you know, I think sometimes we know the motives of our heart, but even the Bible says that there's a way that seems right to a man. But in the end is death. Right. It's like, I think I'm doing the right thing, but it's like, nah, you 
Definitely not. Um, I love when my man Paul says Paul is a writer uh, in the Bible, an apostle. And uh, Paul in uh, 1 Corinthians 4, he says, um, he says, you know, in 4 chapter 3, he says that I care very little if I'm judged by you or by any human court. Um, he says, my conscience is clear. He, I don't even judge myself. My conscience is clear. Um, but that doesn't make me innocent. Right? It's the Lord who judges me. Therefore, judge nothing before it's appointed time. Wait until the Lord comes. He'll bring to light what's hidden in darkness and will expose the motives of the heart. At that time, each will receive their praise from God. And what I love about that is that he's saying, listen, I care very little about, you know, your judgment on me. You know, like your assessment of my motive. I don't even judge myself, right? I feel like I'm fine. I'm not doing anything wrong. But he's saying, but you know what? Neither one of us are the standard. You know, it's the Lord who judges the heart. And he will expose the motives of our heart. But the encouraging part about that is even though none of our motives are pure, even though we do things with impure motives, with selfish motives, we're jacked up through and through in a whole lot of ways, he still says at the appointed time, he exposes the motives of our heart. Each will receive their reward. And, he, and it's like he knows how messed up we are, but he's saying, listen, I do and can do and will do some amazing things in and through my children. And I'm going to reward you for what I do through you. Isn't that crazy? He's going to use us and reward us for how he uses us. So find encouragement in that. Find encouragement in just walking in integrity and being the person you were created to be. Um, because not only does it relieve this pressure from being inside a performance trap, but you'll be rewarded for walking the walk you were created to walk in the first place. Blessings, man.